Hi, I'm Caroline, and this is Les Nouvelles Francaises. Today we have our on-scene reporter to introduce us to Samuel de Champlain, who just got back from his journey to what was supposed to be West India, but turned out to be Canada. Here is Laura and Champlain to tell us how this all happened. As you may have just heard, Champlain is now just arriving back home from his voyage to claiming Quebec. The crowd here is very excited for his accomplishment. It's fine. I'd love to answer a few questions for you. Okay, thank you. Well, my first question would have to be, how exactly did you, did you end up in Canada instead of India? I'm not exactly sure, but I'm glad that whatever happened, happened. We found beautiful waterfalls and giant lakes. We met some natives that were very kind to us and willing to trade with us. They also allowed us to come back again. So are you planning on going back soon? Well, we'd really like to go back, but we have to check with King Henry IV. Oh yes, of course. Who joined you on your voyage? Well, there were many men that went along with me. All of these men were commissioned by King Henry IV, so I did not know many of them well. You said that you've been interested in navigation since you were young? Yes, ma'am. So were you considered the leader of the ship? I would not say I was the leader. We all shared duties and had things to do. So do you think if you were the leader, it would have been easier, or would you just leave it the way it was? I would not have changed anything that we did on the voyage. Okay, well thank you for your time. I'll let you go back to your celebration. No problem. I hope to see you again. You too. Back to you, Carly. Thank you, Laura. And thank you, Champlain. Now, as most of you know, there is a very serious problem that is now occurring right here in France called the Black Plague. It is a very scary disease that comes from small animals. It is believed to have started in China, but no one is quite sure yet. This disease is very deadly. We all recommend that you stay inside and stay as healthy as you can. There have been hundreds of deaths all over Europe. Please, keep yourself and others around you safe. Thank you. And now, Laura, our on-scene reporter, took it away from a, with a civilian that she met at the trading market. Laura, are you there? I'm here with this young gentleman named Arthur that has kindly allowed me to ask some questions. Now, we are all wondering, what is your view on mercantilism, or the idea of your country's power depending on the wealth, in this case, your hometown, France? I'm definitely not sold on the idea, but I guess they need to rely on something. England has completely used up all of France's gold, and now we have nothing left except what the citizens have, which is very little. So you're saying mercantilism doesn't help the economy? No, it doesn't. In some ways, it's actually making it worse. They're using up all of our money and gold, so the citizens have very little. It doesn't help the people. Does it help England? I have no idea. They're most likely wealthy. Yes, I understand your reasoning. Now, if you don't mind a few more questions? No, not at all. Okay, thank you. Well, how do you view slavery? I feel as if it's not necessary, and today, in our modern society, it's not needed. Oh, okay. Thank you so much, Arthur. I agree. No problem. Nice having you. Back My to pleasure. You. Back to you, Carly. <laughs> thank you, Laura and Arthur. That gave me something to think about. Well, that is all the time we have for today. Thank you for joining us today at Les Nouvelles Francais. Ciao!